everyone, my name is Heather and this is a new release Tuesday and let's talk about all the awesome, awesome books coming out this week. The first book I'm going to talk about today is Confessions, The Private School Murders by James Patterson and Maxine Petro. This is the second book in the Confessions series. This is all about mystery, which James Patterson is awesome at, I hear. This is all about Tandy, whose parents have been killed, and the only suspects are Tandy and her three other siblings, so that's probably not good. The next book is The Midnight Dress by Karen Foxley. This book is all about a magical dress. A dress that will have long lasting consequences on life in the sleepy town that Rose has fallen in love with. A dress that will seal the fate of two girls. Interesting, a dress that could like seal your fate or make it or break it. The next book is Muckers by Sandra Neal Wallace. This is a historical fiction novel that is said to be equal parts who Hoosiers? Who Hoosiers and October Sky. Felix has to take the place of the quarterback of the Muckers when his older brother dies in the war. Felix has to leave the Muckers to win state. This book is also said to appeal to fans of Friday Night Lights as well, so it's definitely like a football-y, historical kind of football, so if you're definitely into like football, I've said that like five times, check it out if you like football. If you haven't gotten that by now. Yep, that happened. <laughs> Next book is Premeditated by Josen L. McQueen. A week ago, Dinah learned that her cousin committed suicide. Dinah ditched the piercings and bleached the black dye out of her hair. She put on knee socks and a plaid skirt and went into complete disguise. And now she will find the boy who broke her cousin and he will wish that he was dead next. It sounds freaking awesome. Like, watch out for Dinah because she will literally come get you. Don't mess with her. Read by Allison Cherry. Felicity has it all. Great best friends, hot boyfriend, and she is on the right track to win the Miss Scarlet pageant. Her perfect life is thanks to her long, wavy red hair. Having red hair is literally the only thing that matters in her town, called Scarletville. Then one day, Felicity receives an anonymous note that says, I know your secret. Turns out Felicity is no real redhead. She gets her color straight from the bottle. How far is Felicity willing to go to protect her secret of knowing that she is not a real redhead? This has been on my wish list for quite some time. I'm excited to get my hands on the book. The next book is Season of the Witch by Maria Fredericks. This book is said to perfectly capture the world of New York City private schools. Hattie girls, cheaters, hot boys, and backstabbing friends. Oh, and throw into the mix a girl experimenting with witchcraft and is planning to get revenge of the people that, that caused her so much hurt. Well, I know I sure would mess with that girl. I hope they're smart enough in the book. Definitely check this one out. It sounds a lot like The Craft, the movie. The next book is The Evening Minds by James Dashner. This is the first book in a new series from the author who brought us the amazing Amaze Runner trilogy. This series is set in a world of hyper-advanced technology, cyber terrorists, and gaming beyond your wildest dreams. The description of this book reminds me of a young kind of Ready Player One, only kind of scarier because you got the cyber terrorist in there, but I'd say if you like Ready Player One, this one might be up your alley because it's got the gamey aspect into it. The next book is Tandem by Anna Jarzab. This is a new series about Sasha who learns that there are parallel worlds inhabited by girls that look like her but lead very, very different lives. To prevent impending war, Sasha must slip into an alternate version of herself in the, one of the parallel worlds as a princess who has vanished on the eve of her arranged marriage. If she succeeds, Sasha is able to return home. If she does not succeed, she is forever stuck in this world as someone else. Berserk Reloaded by Michael Grant. This is the second book in the Berserk trilogy. This series is all about war for the control of the human mind. Meet two teams, one side fighting to turn the world into their version of Utopia, which means no war no conflict. The other side, a guerrilla group of teens codenamed Berserk, fighting to protect the right to be messed up to be human. I've heard amazing, amazing things about this series, so definitely check it out if you've not heard anything about it. The next book is Beauty's Daughter, story of Hermione and Helen of Troy. This book is all about Hermione, who was the daughter of Helen of Troy. Helen falls in love with Prince Paris, and she runs off with him, leaving her daughter behind. Hermione stows away in one of the thousand ships that are heading to reclaim Helen. Hermione witnesses firsthand the start of the Trojan War. So if you like historical fiction, if you like Troy and all that kind of stuff, this book will be right up your alley. The next book is Pulled Out of the Night by, bear with me here, by Nathan Kocheki. Yeah. 
I believe this book is a sequel or a companion to Suburban Strange. This series is all about a high school that's not really your ordinary high school. It's full of mystery and ghost and supernatural thing. Next book is The House of Hades by Rick Riordan. The highly, highly, highly anticipated fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series. If you don't know much about this series, I believe it's a sequel or a companion to the Percy Jackson series. It has some new characters. New challenges, it's all about the Greek god, gods, the sons and daughters, and you know, tons of epic, epic adventure. I believe a ton of you have probably already have bought this book way in advance. Happy reading release day for you. The next book is One Crow Alone by S.D. Crockett. I believe this is either the sequel to Before the Snow or the novella in between books one and two. Goodreads is saying on one Goodreads page, it's saying one thing and the other saying another thing. So I'm kind of confused about it, but either way, it comes out today. <laughs> but I do know this series is all about 15 year old Wylo, whose family was taken away in these trucks, and Wylo is left in the snow on his own. And Wylo, Wylo, I don't know how you say it, Wylo, Wylo, I'm sorry. He starts his journey in order to find his family. The next book is The Brokenhearted by Amelia Kahani. I hope I said that right. This is all about a girl who is a prim ballerina who is closely guarded by her parents. It is until she meets Gavin and is drawn into his dangerous world. Then a tragic accident happens and Anthem falls to her death. And then she wakes up in a lab with a bionic heart beating in her chest. So that's very creepy. The next book is Resist by Sarah Crossan. This is the sequel and conclusion to Breathe. The world has no air. If you want to live, you have to pay to breathe. This series is all about three teens who are on very different paths but all need the same thing. Air. The next book is No Angel by Helen Keeble. Raphael arrives at a zoo boarding school and he learns that he is the only male in the entire school. So that should be an awesome, awesome thing, but Raphael learns that his school is actually a hub for demons and he learns that he was summoned to the school by someone expecting him to save the day, only he has no clue how. The next book is Desert Tales by Melissa Marr. This novel is set in the world of Melissa Marr's Wicked Lovely series. The Desert Tale was actually introduced originally as a manga series, but today is available as a standalone novel. So check it out if you're interested in the world of Wicked Lovely. It sounds pretty, pretty awesome. The next book is Cold Town Jesus by Ron Co Cur Cur I do not know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry. One day, Jesus shows up in Walker's bedroom. Walker had prayed for whoever was up there to help his mom, who had not stopped crying since their brother, since his brother Noah died. This book tackles some of life's biggest questions and humanizes the the Divine Savior. The next book is Backwards by Todd Mitchell. When Dan dies, Ryder's life begins. Ryder finds himself moving backwards in time, revealing more to the series of events that led to Dan's suicide. The next book is The Extra by Katherine Lasky. This is a historical fiction about Lilo, who has a chance to serve as an extra for Hitler's favorite filmmaker. He has a chance at life or detour on the path to inevitable extermination. The next book is Juvie by Steve Watkins. This is a book about two sisters, Sadie and Carla, who are polar opposites. Sadie is the responsible one and Carla is, has a three-year-old daughter who she leaves with Sadie all the time to party and drink. Both sisters get caught up in the wrong place, wrong time kind of thing in a drug deal and it's up to Sadie to confess to the charges even though she did not do it and gets end up sending to Juvie. She does this to make sure that Carla stays out of Juvie so she can take care of her three-year-old. This book is all about growing and about family and about hopefully Carla will step up to the plate and all that kind of stuff. It sounds really good. The next book is The Kingdom of Little Wounds by Suzanne Kokel. This book is about a young seamstress and a royal nursemaid that find themselves in the center of an epic power struggle. The next book is Bang by Lisa McMahon. This is the second book in the Vision series. The series is about Jules who sees Vision. She has one vision that haunts her all day long. In this one particular vision, she sees a truck hit a building and explode, and then nine body bags in the snow. This series reminds me a lot of Final Destination, which I do love those movies, so definitely check out this series. And our last book of the day is Blythewood or Blithwood by Carol Goodman. Abilene has had a rough life and is headed to Blythewood Academy. And this, this academy is full of not your typical kind of thing. It's full of darkness and full of kind of deep secrets and she's learning about them. That's it for this week. A ton of ton of books. Sorry if all your money has mysteriously vanished from your wallet. That happens sometimes, you know? 
you just have to give in to books. <laughs> Let us know in the comments which newly released book you are looking most forward to getting your hands on this week. My name is Heather and I will see you guys next Tuesday.